Keep it going for the filthy fucking stick right here. Keep it going, Brian Ryan. Love it, I love it. And to Beach, how we doing? Feeling good? Groovy, right? Yeah, love it. I just found out Huntington Beach's mascot is a breathalyzer. Yeah. <laughs> call him Mr. Blowy, that's what they call him. Yeah, it's a good time. Guys, I got a little bit of a dilemma, a little bit of a dilemma. Uh, my eight-year-old sister came up to me today and she said, Frankie, I want to be a gold digger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, why do you want to be a gold digger? And she said word for word because they don't have to work. That's what she said. They don't have to work. So I looked at her and I was like, well, they are not ugly. <laughs> so you gotta stay in school. <laughs> you know, if you mess them up enough when they're young, they can either become a comic or a druggie. So I'm hoping for the druggie, but they don't the druggie. <laughs> don't do this, yeah. But uh, I just found out some interesting news. I just found out that they're releasing a superhero movie with the first Mexican-American main character. Yeah, it's gonna be called The Blue Beetle. Yeah, which is a little disappointing because it's like, what's that superpower? You know, just rolling shit up the hill is just all it is, you know? It's like, I roll and I roll to defeat my enemies. That's what I do. I roll and I roll. Can you imagine there's a bank robbery happening? The guy's like, hey, yo, put the money in the bag. I, I'm going to start killing people and... Shit, what the... What is that? In busted blue beater? He's like, oh, my God. I've been rolling around that brown shit all day. Hold on, give me a breath, but I'll stick it, dude. At least make it more believable, you know? Something like tortilla piercer, you know what I mean? Like, just a short Mexican lady named Rosa just rolling tortillas like this with a leg by. Like, mm. And she launches them at your head with deadly accuracy. She's like, mm, carnitas. Al pastor. Yeah. Or at least something more believable, like uh, Rose Slasher, you know? Just a short, fat Mexican guy who just kills you with bouquets of roses, just like, Bing. One for five. Bing. Two for eight. Bing. She's a pretty girl, she needs a pretty rose. Bing, bing. Yeah. But actually, the first, the first um, superhero is not going to be the Blue Beetle. The first superhero is actually Mexican, yeah, or Latin, as I say. Uh, before Superman, Batman, and Iron Man uh, was this uh, this gay guy named Zorro. You guys heard of him? <laughs> A lot of you are like, man, Zorro's not gay. But the other half of you are like, yeah, he's gay, man. Yeah, he's gay. <laughs> This is my this is my radar. This is my radar if, if I know your game now, okay? If you use your wrist to spell your name, you're flaming hot Cheetos, okay? That's just that's like sir, what's your name? Percy. Percy. Oh, hey Percy. <laughs> Percy. If I s okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, okay. I saw you I saw you outside, okay. Percy. 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 Okay. Percy. Do you write your name like this? Or do you write your name like <laughs> Percy? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the day, honestly, probably back in the day, Zoro wasn't even Zoro. It, was it, was, it wasn't like Zoro. It was probably like Zoro. <laughs> you know, it's bad. But uh, superheroes are are really weird, and I think I mean they're like people, but I think it sucks because I think women get the worst superpowers. You know what I mean? Men get the best ones, they really do. We change them. incredible shit, we're incredible speed, whatever. Women get usually one of two superpowers, it's usually mind control and levitation. You know, which is pretty standard in the woman handbook, if you ask me. You know what I mean? Because technically, my girlfriend is a superhero. Yeah, and she has the power of levitation. I'll give you an example. We were arguing about two, three days ago, and I called her dumb and stupid in the same sentence. Which is something you should never do. Yeah, something you should never do. And this is how I knew she had the power of levitation. We were at our apartment one second, three seconds later, I was at CVS getting Ben and Jerry's. I don't know how I got there. <laughs> Throw some clips in there, give me some Dutchess too, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. But yeah, it's weird. I think, like I said, women get the short end of the dick, excuse me, sick for superpowers. They really do. But like, I think Wonder Woman has this weird thing called the lasso of truth. You guys ever heard about it? Pretty weird. I, as a woman, I'd be offended because it's like, man, every woman wants this power. Who wouldn't want to wrap their man around their, you know, wrap their man around with a rope and be like, where were you? Tell me I'm pretty. Do I remind you of my mom? Yeah, something like that, you know. Okay, we got a lot of feminists in here. That's okay. Moving on. Moving on. 
That really spoke to me. That really hurt me. <laughs> but uh, I'm getting older. Anybody else getting older? I'm about to be in my 30s right now. I'm about to be 30. Yeah, yeah. You, no, no, no. You're still, still 2000, baby? 2001? 99? You have a fake ID? Fake ID? Fake ID? No, no, fake ID? No, no. 2002, yeah. But uh, I'm getting older. Everybody keeps telling me, are you scared? Are you scared to get older? And I'm like, absolutely not. The only thing I'm scared of at this age is just, uh, just eating too much cheese. That's what I'm scared of at this age. Yeah, nobody prepares you for when your stomach starts changing. You know what I mean? And it's always like, hey, make sure you got a job. Make sure you got a, a family going. You know, make sure you got a money. It, but it's never avoid gorgonzola. It's never that shit. <laughs> it's never avoid cheese and avoid Mexican food. You know what I mean? And it sucks because I'm Mexican. And speaking of Mexican food, isn't it weird that Mexican food is the one dish we've all just agreed we're okay with us getting us diarrhea? Isn't that, isn't that wild? That's wild, right? And you're like, man, like, I can't take this anymore, man. Fucking clean me out. Screw all these detox seeds, to be honest. You don't need them. All you need to do is just go to Taco Bell. I drop two pan sizes in one hour, okay? That's, that's taking outside the bun, okay? That's making you want to live moss, okay? This. this is how bad it's gotten. I take more time deciding whether I'm going to do cocaine in a party than I do deciding if I'm going to eat cheese. Does that make sense, guys? That's what I'm trying to say. Hard drugs don't terrify me as much as queso. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? If someone says they got cocaine and mushrooms in the bathroom, I'm like a jet ski in the water. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm zoning. Guys. I'm like a skier on a double black diamond. I'm just like, mm, here we go. <laughs> yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, yeah. Here's how I know. Here's how I know cheese is the ultimate. Okay, I've never left the party drunk as hell, thinking, you know what, cocaine would complete this night. But I have left the party thinking, you know what. A quesadilla would complete yeah. this night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me go to Del Taco, make yeah. a bowl, fuck yeah. it up. Yeah, that's right, that's right. But like, I, I really have a really big problem, man. Like, I went to Ralph's the other day and I saw that big Parmesan wheel. You know, and I started convulsing. I was like, fuck this. I started acting like a, like a meth head. It's like, I'm thinking about making like a cheese store, you know? Call it like cheese rolls, everything around me, or like crazy. <laughs> Yeah, or like Frankie Cheese or something like that. Like Chuggy Cheese, but less creepier. You know what I'm saying? The cheese store can even be like a dispensary, you know? Just walk in there and you're like, hey, yo, bro. <laughs> let, me get a, let me get an eighth of the OG Gorgonzola, dog. Uh, buddy, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dog, we got this new one. It's called, it's called uh, it's a Sativa, man. What is it called? Uh, it's called uh, Pepper Jack Diesel. Yeah, that's what it's called, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What else you got? Something a little bit more uh, low metal? Yeah, yeah, I got a. Uh, electric Swiss, yeah, get that, get that, yeah. We also have edibles too, but you know, they're just Parmesan packets and we throw them in there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I recently told my dad, I was like, hey, uh, dad, I'm getting older, I want to make a bucket list with you. Let's, let's, do some, let's do some crazy shit. And I first thing I mentioned, I was like, we should get high. Like, I want to get you high. Let's get you high, dad. And then before I could finish my sentence, he goes, Frankie, I can't get high because if I get high, I get horny. Yeah. So I was like, hey, Dad, I just like you as a friend, man. Relax. <laughs> I know we go way back, but relax. Let's find that mountain instead. Fuck that. You know what I mean? No, but he keeps... My dad is weird. When he gets drunk, he starts having crazy theories. One of the crazy theories that he has is that John Lennon is Mexican from the Beatles. Yeah. Which is pretty weird. And I was like, why do you say that? He goes, well, John Lennon has this song called Strawberry Fields Forever. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, well, usually Mexican people, what they do is they pick strawberries, it's usually in fields, and it's usually forever exactly right for best of luck. Another for sure sign that John Lennon is Mexican is that he beats women. So that's how you know he's one of us. He's one of us. All right, guys, it's been my time. My name's been Frank Salon. Thank you for coming.